Alright you guys, I'm really excited. I have my master sword right here. Very beautiful. I got the package, which I assume is from the company that makes the digital uh, HDMI adapter for the GameCube. It feels like it's not that heavy, so hopefully it is. <laughs> Right there. Okay. Oh, and here it is, guys. Oh, yes. They have a, a lot of like controllers as well for your retro consoles. It's, uh, it's from uh, Tom's RetroShack.com if you guys are interested. So here it is. All this garbage. And here it is. So there's a cool little box, like a GameCube. I was gonna do a joke about it's the GameCube classic, but. It's way too small to be a classic, right, for the GameCube, because the GameCube is pretty huge compared to other systems. So how do I open? Okay, there's... I use the Master Sword to nudge this sticker off on the side. Carefully though, I don't want to ruin the ball. Never thought I would see the day when I actually got this. I was like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it. I got so many new GameCube games. And I want to have a cool quality way to play on my my uh, my like modern TV. Don't worry, guys. I'm gonna show you guys what it will look like in the post video thing. I'm probably gonna do some recordings and stuff for a future video of this. I'm gonna be really careful. This this box is really awesome looking. I like it a lot. Oh oh oh. So you get a little instructional little thing, so you know what's going on. The IR menu, okay. Let's see here, I can pull this out. Oh, I never thought I would see the day, but. Oh, okay, you can customize your IR sensor. I don't know what that's for. Okay. There's nothing else in here, it's just an actual adapter. So you guys can't tell, that's what it looks like, right there. I guess I could bring my actual GameCube that I have right now. For this, so you can see right there, hopefully. If the, I don't know if the camera will focus, I hope so. I'll see it later <laughs> and be pissed off if it doesn't. But it's the, this one doesn't work. This is just to hold this device to not let make it move around. It's a way to hold it like, so we want to nudge and stuff because the previous version from what I heard uh, can break your GameCube so that's pretty scary but this one can't for what I heard and uh, when I I watch like like every other YouTuber have actually bought one of these and uh, you know the fun that fact is the reason why I got this is if you can't tell behind me I have a lot of GameCube games I have about 30 yeah about 30 I actually have Mario Party 6, which I do want to make a let's play of, oh, right over there in the box. In the future, I want to do a let's play of all the Mario Party games, it's going to be hard to find them though. But that's fine, that's fine. I think I can live with it. Uh, so far that one cost 100. Uh, eight, 800 the Swedish crowns, which is around like 70 bucks. And uh, yeah, this is gonna make the experience on GameCube pretty cool and uh, I have an extra slot now for my Switch device uh, My sw my uh, RCA switcher so I can have my VCR and my retro systems plugged up for now Until I get a SCART switch. I'm trying to find a SCART switch that has four uh, SCART plugs and one output or whatever you want to call it Hopefully I'll find something like that. That would be awesome. So this is it Very beautiful. Very beautiful I got the E, it's called the Eon. Yeah, so I'm not gonna show anything right now. I want to actually experience this and see if it's any different compared to like this type of thing and the SCAR type of thing, which is a European type of plug that not all TVs have, uh, which is a different experience compared to RCA for the, the US and every other part of the world that doesn't have SCAR. I think only US is the only place that doesn't have the scar plug maybe not japan as well i don't know i'm not sure but anyway that's all for this video guys i hope you enjoy a little small unboxing um uh, and you can see something in the background right there that's gonna be a future unboxing of course right there so make sure to stay tuned guys 
and I'll see you guys next time. All right?